Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we finished the Forest Shrine dungeon, and now we're going to uh, go see about uh, using the Earth Element to uh, remake the Broken Pakiri Sword. See if we can uh, do anything with this. What do you have to say? Oh, you you retrieved the earth element from the fiend-infested shrine? Incredible! Humans are amazing creatures. The others are sure to be amazed too. All right. So, I uh, want to apologize for lack of an episode last uh, week. I just wasn't feeling like recording, and uh, I don't want to try and force this. This is a uh, this is a game I like, so I want to. Uh, Alright, I got that piece of heart. I wanted to make sure. I don't want to, uh, force anything with this project. You know what? I'm feeling nostalgic. Sword and board. Have you never seen any Minish before you came here? Really? That's so strange. We Minish live all over the place. Okay, fair enough. But you guys are very, very tiny. Very small peoples. But anyway, let's go see what the Elder has to say. Oh, you have found the Earth Element? You are blessed with much courage and strength for one so young. If you could, if your conviction holds strong, head to Mount Gernal. Or Serenal. How would you pronounce that, anyway? I don't know. There you will find a man named Milari. Among all the Minish, there is no one more able to repair your sword. If you ask him, he will surely reforge the broken Picuri blade. I shall send word to him in advance. Travel safely. Safely. You are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. Okay. Da 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 da. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder! We are in your debt! We shall head to Mount Serenal at once! Ah! Uh, now, here's something I want to know. This is where we're going, to that uh, red spiky rock. This is what I want to know. How is he going to get word over there that quickly? And it, they can't change size, so it's... That's like a journey of a thousand miles. But they're going to know before we get there. Then again, we're going to be held up for a little while doing some side quest crap, so... Anyway, now we're getting out of here. First instinct would be to jump into that stump, but you want... But before you do that, you want to go into this lone house. Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you be, by chance be Soup, the one who found the Earth Element? Surely you are. I've heard so many tales about you. I've only done one thing! Well... On camera. Not even then. But anyway, anyway. Uh, never mind. Uh, moving on. I am Bilari, research of antiquities. I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, we won't be able to get... You won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. You got a bomb bag! And it has ten bombs in it. Now you can blow lots of stuff up! Blow up lots of stuff. Ooh, that could have been, uh... That could have been taken... In a, that could have been inappropriate. But anyway, let's see. How do I get... How do I... Let's see. Hey, how do I... Why are you giving me this blue pill? I, what? Okay, let oh. Okay, let's go. Never speaking of this again. Alright. Let's see if we can find uh oh, we only found a heart. Anyway, what is what is this? Holder of the sacred power, we grant you the power of wind. Kaboom! Hmm! Whoa! It blew up? Hey, kid! 
Look at where that stone used to be. There's some sort of strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, that must be. Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Remember that for later. Lot later. <laughs> it's a bit of a tease, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, you got five bombs. Store them in your bomb bag. How many bombs can we... Uh, we can only store five. Or, we can only store ten, so... Not a big deal. But now we can... Place a bomb. I can't remember if this in this game the bombs can hurt you. I think they can. You got five rupees. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, oh, you're dead. You're dead, bro. You see, it's kind of like you mad, bro, but not. Oh, this freaking... I don't even know what to call them, but... So we're going to use the mushroom stretching powers like we figured out we had in the last episode. I'm going to skip all of those, because it's... Let's see, what do you have there? Hey, look at this skinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what skinstone is? Well, tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Oh, uh, yes. We'll be learning about those here rather quickly. Uh, I'm not overly excited because I hate kinstones. They kind of suck. They're a cool feature, but... They also kind of suck. Not gonna lie. One thing... But anyway, talk about the item that we just got, which is probably one of the most, uh... Come back here. If not one of the most iconic, it's damn near. I can't... I don't know if there's a Zelda game that there's not been bombs. Bomb. You get, basically... You make... You blow shit up! It's one of the great things about Zelda. You blow shit up. And bats, also known as keys. More of these mysterious shells. Again, we'll explain what those do at a later time. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with them except collect, so... I'm not gonna lie, I don't know... These are pea hats. I don't know how to kill them without using the gush jar. And to be honest, I really can't be bothered. Alright. Bomb. Alright, so now... Let's leave these guys. And now we are back here. I think I just rolled into that guy. If you remember, this is where we started our adventure. Oh, so long ago. So, this is your house. Well, it seems like a nice place. So, where's my room? You don't get one! But anyway, let's go see what the smith has been up to. Oh! Oh, welcome back, Soup. My, but you look... You're looking so much stronger. If you get tired, just go ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making swords for the guards to keep the monsters at bay. I wish I could do more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. <sighs> Why does everybody put so much pressure on me? <laughs> I'm only... <laughs> no, no, I'm a, I'm a full-grown adult. I can handle... I can handle it. Oh, go ahead and die.
Oh. Let me take care of that before I forget. The yeah, after rocks don't have uh, infinite range in this game. Older of the sacred power, we grant you the power of wind. Hey! That stone obelisk crumbled! And there's another one of those marks! You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me! Eh, congratulations. Alright, I want to do something really quick. Alright. We'll come back to this really quick. I want to check something. Oh, I'm busy, kid. The boss always makes sure we got our nose to the old grindstone. Okay, that explains. Eh, fair enough. So I can't go back that way. Eh, it's not too far away. I can just... I can head back. And we are going to, for the second time in this se in this uh, series, enter Hyrule Town. The festival is obviously over, so now we get to experience Hyrule... Uh, what the? What's going on? Come one, come all, and see how many how many kinstone pieces you can collect. Uh, come up, come on up, and get your free kinstone bag for holding your kinstone pieces. Uh, I need an adult. I need an adult. Don't miss out on the incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes. You're here for your free Kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. You got a Kinstone bag, you now can carry Kinstone pieces with you. This is a part of the game that kind of sucks, not gonna lie. For, and you can view them from the start menu. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pieces that fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. Uh, I need an adult. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstone will look like I am doing will look like I am doing right now. I need an adult! He's creating a, a circle, a white circle over his head with a red heart in it. I need an adult! When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. I don't know if I want to press L. This is creepy. Then, then use uh, the directional pad to choose a kinstone piece and press A to try and fuse it. Did you catch all that? Hell yeah, you creepo! Get away from me! Then stand in front of me and press L so we can... Fusing kinstones is a blast. Wanna fuse kinstones? We're gonna fuse kinstones. It's a cult! Ah, I, I'm trapped! <laughs> yes, yes, that's it! Press L! Then you can see the Kinstone screen! Because we only have uh, one Kinstone, um, we'll fuse. The two Kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Um. Well, obviously something good is happening, because I'm seeing it right here. Those vines are going to disappear. A perfect fit! That means we're both due for a little happiness. See you!
need a bath. <laughs> it won't come out. Anyway, um, uh, childhood scarring aside, um, let's go into this place. This place looks pretty cool. It's, uh, ooh. Just take a second to take in this music. Alright, I'm gonna have to admit that was longer than a second, but it was well worth it. This music is epic. And this guy looks a looks beast mode and appropriate for the music. What do you gotta say? Ha! I am Swiftblade, the finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you trade with me, I guarantee that you increase your skill dramatically. So would you like to train here? Oh you you will accept me in this amazing place with the epic music and a guy with the word blade in his in his name hell yeah we shall start with the most basic of all techniques oh I shall teach you the spin attack oh if that's basic I like this guy First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive mate. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? I think you got me with some of the technical terms, but I think I can give it a shot. Let me go, Sensei. Let me go. Aha! Very good. You are a very quick student. Hell yeah. But one must feel the technique. Uh-oh. Not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body so I can demonstrate the technique. I need an adult. I call this the Swift Blade Switcheroo Technique of Training. Watch this. Switch. Must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button. Build up enough power. Then release your destructive might. And that's all there is to it. Woo! Yes! Fine work. You are a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. You learn the secret spin attack fighting technique. This is the first sword technique you've learned from Master Swiftblade. Alright, I guess I can show these off now. My kinstone bag, fairly empty right now. And our tiger scrolls. There are quite a few of them. There's eight I believe actually there's more than eight but there's only eight scrolls so alright do you have anything else to teach there are no more techniques I can teach you with your current sword come again when you have a new sword in hand hmm okay so apparently uh... just one second ah! Okay. <sighs> so apparently before we can uh, learn a new technique from him, outside the almighty spin attack, we need to upgrade our swad. Not too much of an issue. Alright. One thing we can do is we can clean this place up a little bit. This is Hyrule Town, so it can look nice. 
Hey, hey! Fresh fruit! Get your fresh fruit here! Um... I guess I, I guess I can do one more thing before, uh... Actually, let's go see what that kinstone fusion did. Um, I guess while, uh... I guess while I'm on my way to do that, I can talk about, uh... I'm not gonna be, um... I don't know if I said it in the first episode, but I'm not, I'm not planning on 100%ing this game, I'm... Ooh, piece of heart. You got a piece of heart! Collect four to make a new heart contender for even more life energy! But I'm not gonna be 100%ing this game because... Well, for one, the kinstone pieces, it's a bit of a long, it's a long grind, it's, it's, oh, speaking of which, we got a kinstone piece. I guess I can show it off. There are, um, if I remember correctly, there are a couple different colors. Uh, green, red, and blue are the most common. And they are... Uh, I can't say for certainty, but I think they are a reference to the three goddesses. Um, Rin, Nehru, and... Barora, I want to say? I may be getting that one wrong. If I will, there's... Gonna be something on screen. But anyway... Um... What the Kinstone Pieces does is essentially gives uh, all these NPCs, like if I can find one, I'd love to find one out there. Um, basically, if we, I can fuse, but I don't have one that, uh, I don't have the matching uh, set, or the, uh, the matching whatever it is, so I can't fuse. Uh, essentially, it gives a lot of these NPCs um, something to do, and it opens up uh, heart pieces, uh, kinstones, um, these mysterious shells that we still don't know what to do with, and a couple other things. I will be doing some of them, but I won't be doing all of them, because a lot of them are, you know, to be quite honest, they're quite annoying, and it's a process that I really don't like. But anyway, in this episode we got back to Hyrule Town. Um, we haven't done too much in here. We got, um, we met two adults. We had two situations of needing an adult. We learned the almighty spin attack. And uh, we got bombs, kinstone pieces, and our first tiger scroll. I think that's a good start for the fourth episode. Um, in the next episode, we will explore Hyrule Town and uh, make our way over to uh, Mount Serol. Serol? I, I still don't know. And uh, get our uh, our broken Pakiri blade. Get it broke fixed and hopefully getting a new element so until next time i want to thank you guys for watching and get jumped by the mailman i need an adult thank you for watching and until next time goodbye